welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl coco styles and on this channel we talk about beauty fashion and lifestyle and styling guys but today oops, <laughs> today i'm going to show you guys some of the things that i buy as a vegan i did a video a while back but it's always good to do a refresh and show you guys what i get i have on no makeup today i did a face shoe <laughs> so my face is really oily from well not oily she put on some camilla oil which is like solid oil and i absolutely love it so i'm just gonna jump right into it and make this really quick so during covid um i didn't have any issues with buying anything but i know a lot of people who eat I don't wanna say, I guess a standard American diet, they were having issues with buying food and finding food and all that good stuff. So I didn't have that issue and I think it had a lot to do with the stuff being fresh opposed to like processed food and opposed to just standard stuff that most people eat, right? So I'm just gonna jump into it and show you guys some things that I get. So the first thing is, my trusty walnuts. Walnuts. So this is something that I use to make my milk and I use it to make salad dressing, okay? When I make my milk, I pretty much just use that and some hemp seeds, which I did get some hemp seeds. I got some hemp seeds. And I mix it together in a blender, in a juicer, the bullet. Put a little bit of agave, I think I purchased some too. Yep, some agave, and my agave, and I blend it, juice it, and that's it. And sometimes I'll add some dates. So I got some nuts, which is alkaline. That's what they say, but this is not alkaline. <laughs> this is pistachios. <laughs> so these pistachios, I love. Um, I try not to eat a lot at a time because it does have salt on it. And you guys know salt is like the death of it. So I bought some more olive oil. I like this brand here. I don't know, is it gonna focus guys? Uh, I don't know if it's gonna focus. I don't know, you guys know I'm struggling with this. And then I got some sesame seed oil, which I totally love too. Uh, it never focuses on me because I think it's focusing on me. Sorry, guys. So those are the two oils that I get besides the grapeseed oil. Um, I got some seeded watermelon. I just got a slice. Now, I am a little against buying sliced watermelon. And the reason why is I've seen an article where they say... Once it's cut, the alkaline level changes. Um, and then we don't know what kind of knives they're using in there, right? But they didn't have any big ones, any whole ones. And then I got a cantaloupe. Now, cantaloupe, I, don't, I never used to know how to pick these, but I know that if you look at it and you see like a dark spot, they didn't have many today. You see a dark spot, you can um, pretty much know that it's sweet. I think it's focusing a little bit further back. Let me try that again with the oil. Yeah, so that's the oil, and then this is the olive oil. That's the sesame seed oil. So then I get some raisins. <laughs> These are organic dried red raisins. I never used to love raisins, but I have taken a liking to them as a vegan. And I usually make like my own trail mixed with the, the walnuts and stuff. Um, Here's my two cheeks. They have some plants and chips, and they have these with sesame seeds. I just like them. So these are just like some sesame blue chips, blue, and then some salted plantain. So also, let me just grab some of this stuff from over here. So my shirt keeps falling down because this jacket is very company. My kale. Now, when it comes to my kale, guys, I usually buy three heads, three heads of kale. Um, and I usually get the organic one. And the reason why is because, I don't know, sometimes the non-organic one, I get three of these. Uh, sometimes the non-organic one, it 
looks a little funny sometimes. I'm not even gonna lie. So it's just two in here. So I get three heads. And then what I do with them is I actually clean them off, right? And I chop it up and I put some olive oil on it and I put it in glass containers. That keeps them fresh inside of the glass container. Um, and I eat it throughout the week, probably within the first couple of, few days out the week. Um, I'm making a salad or I'm making like a, bowl, a quinoa bowl with some kale on it. And here's my strawberries. I get everything organic, guys. I try to. Um, I'll tell you this. Some people say, ah, oh, it doesn't matter if it's organic or not. Two things that I saw that was a little alarming to me. And I got a butternut squash. I finally know how to cook this. So the first thing is bananas, okay? I purchased, I used to buy conventional bananas all the time. Um, and I would see like people talk about bananas. This particular day, I didn't feel like driving to my other mart to get my baby bananas or my burrow bananas. And I just got the standard ones that were organic. That's what they said. When I bit into this banana, it just seemed very, I don't know, it just had like a weird texture to it, right? And I said, you know what? I'm just not gonna buy it anymore. I'm just gonna just drive to where I get my baby bananas from. And here's some ginger. I got a bag of ginger. I'm gonna make some ginger juice. Maybe I'll put that in the video. Um, what else? So I got my ginger. Here are my, <laughs> my trusty burrow bananas, guys. You guys know burr bananas are the original bananas, right? I love it. Like it came straight off the tree. <laughs> and with these, there's a couple of ways you can eat them. Let me just put it over here, guys. There's a couple of ways you could actually eat those. You can eat them like plantain, right? Or you can wait till they're really, really ripe. You can have them like green bananas, then you can have them like sweet bananas, and then you can have them like an actual banana. So the longer you wait for them to ripe, you know, depends on, you know, how you want it. Um, so here's my other cheat. I don't do it often, but I just felt like I wanted it. This vegan butter, which I know is not good for you guys. Um, this is the soy free one. And then some vegan cheese. I just feel like making a fake Philly cheesesteak tonight, and I'm gonna do it. So this is, Daya, and this is the mozzarella style blend, um, and then some vegan cheese. If you are alkaline vegan, we, you're not supposed to have this, <laughs> just know that. Um, then I got, I'm sorry if I keep pulling my shirt, because the jacket is like irritating my neck for some reason. I got some green peppers. Um, I love my green peppers. I cleaned these off. And then I um, put them inside this container that I have. I have, what did I get? A red pepper and a orange. I got an orange one today. It doesn't look orange on camera. It looks yellow on camera, but it's definitely orange. Um, I got some avocados. Okay, got some avocados, and I usually buy my avocados when they're extremely not ready, okay? Uh, Cause I like to give myself a couple of days. And then I got some apples. These, oh my God, these are Granny Smith. I have to clean all this off. These are Granny Smith apples, not Granny Smith. Oh my God, Granny Smith is the green ones. These are, um, oh my God, oh, Honeycrisp. <laughs> Honeycrisp apples. Try to make apple juice with those. Guys, you're gonna be in heaven. Uh, what else did I get on this side? I bought some spelt flour, and this is the regular organic spelt. Um, it kind of has like a wheat flavor type of feel, but I ran out, so I got some more. Um, so I went to two different marts. So the burrow bananas, the butter, the cheese, and 
this. <laughs> this looks good on the back. What is this? Oh, I can always try to make this. This is uh, some Kamut noodles. I really love this. So now guys, if you eat regular pasta um, and you just notice that your body feel like full and stuff, you can try the Kamut. So I got some spirals so I can make like a little salad. Maybe I'll make a cold salad too. And then I also got the noodle version of it. I like this too. Um, then, I got a lot of stuff guys. Well, it's not a lot for the average person, but I eat fresh stuff. And guys, let me tell you how hard it is to find seeded grapes. This particular market that I go to, they always have them. They have a row of not seedless grapes, and then they got this one little column with these babies. So I get those. Um, they're pretty good too. And let's slide this over here. Okay, and here goes my meat, I guess I would say my meat. <laughs> this is my mushroom, and this is called beach, beach mushroom. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see, okay. So I get two of these, and then I also get This is the hen of the wood mushroom. Hen of the wood. This is what I use to make my Philly cheesesteak. It tastes like Philly cheesesteak, guys. <laughs> to me, it's tough. And I usually buy like three of those. Um, I don't eat mushrooms every day, but yeah. And then I buy these Sereno, I think they call them Sereno peppers. Oh my God, these are so freaking good. They're not jalapeno, they look like jalapeno, but they're really good. And here's my, my other cheese, plantain. So plantain, they say, are not the original, that's why you eat the burrow bananas, but I just feel like sometimes I just want these. They taste, they have a different texture, um, of course, uh, but so sometimes I buy this just because I'm the ingredient. So I bought three of those, the green bananas, and also I'm not supposed to have red potatoes, the little baby ones. But this week I feel like making like some mashed potatoes. And I know you guys are probably like, well why did you buy the baby ones? <laughs> because um, they don't have organic in the big red ones at my mart. So I just always opt for these. Then, let's see. Sorry for the bag rumbling. Um, okay. Now this, these are my baby bananas. They're green because I, they're not ready yet, but I just like to get them. And they come like this, okay? If you guys can find baby bananas, I would really recommend you guys giving these to your, your kids. Um, it's just better than the regular bananas. I don't know, I've just seen some weird stuff inside. And I even saw some weird things with tomatoes, too. As far as tomatoes, an alkaline vegan should not eat regular tomatoes. They only should eat the plums. Okay, so, <laughs> my camera died. <laughs> So, I don't even know what I was saying. I think I was saying about the mushrooms. It's a good thing to use as far as like if you want like Philly cheesesteak type of too. Um, oh, the baby bananas. Baby, try to give your kids those. Then here's some spelt bread. I love spelt. Um, spelt is a different type of grain and it digests different in your system. That bread from the farmer's market, you have to freeze it. I think I was talking about tomatoes too. So the rolling tomatoes, sometimes I get them and sometimes, I, well most times I don't, but they had organic today so I said why not? Why not? Um, and I usually make like some spaghetti sauce out of it. My trusty blueberries. And these are organic also. 
Now, these are a little pricey to me because it's like $3.99 for this little thing. Um, and then I got a papaya because they didn't have any mangoes. So I got a papaya. You guys, papaya smells like feet. <laughs> okay. But I, I put it in like my mason jar and then I just juice it. And what's this? I got, this is just my, my aloe, and this is just for my hair. Um, I know some people, I don't know, I think they juice it, but I, it's gross to me. And lastly, I got some scallion, okay. Got some scallion, organic. And I got some onions. These are so, I don't know, they just seem really, really, really strong today. The guy was laughing at me in the mark. So that's it, that's all that I got today, guys. Um, I'll pan over everything, but this is what I eat in a week. And I love it. So I have quinoa already in my pantry, you guys know that. I keep kamut. Chickpeas, I keep on rotation. Red quinoa, um, the kamut, kamut flakes, kamut cereal, and kamut puffs. And I also keep the actual kamut grain. Um, and that is on heavy rotation in my house. Like I don't even go away from that. But that's it guys. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little into my life really quick on the things that I eat on a weekly basis here at my home. Okay guys, so if you like videos like this, let me know. Um, I am gonna pick back on vlogging again. I just need to get another tripod because my last one is just not what I want it to be for my car. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco we see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and my blog Coco Styles NYC and my styling site, CocoStylesNY.com. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.